Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chris's collection today. Uh, feast your eyes on this beauty. We are playing uh, Resident Evil, or the Resident Evil remake, as it's called. Um, oh my god, where do I even begin with this? I was so f. This is weird, by the way, playing the OG, because I'm so used to um, the uh, HD um, remaster that came out on on modern consoles. Uh, what is there to say? Good God. Um, this game is awesome. It was, uh, it, it was something I was really psyched about. I still remember the reveal when Nintendo was like, hey, guess what? Exclusivity of the main Resident Evil series is going to be happening on the GameCube. And then they laid it down. They said, first game we're going to get is a remake to the original Resident Evil, which made sense. It so did not stick with like the other games. It stuck out like a sore thumb, um, you know, because RE2 became much more serious in its presentation. And then uh, they said, then after that, you're going to get... RE0, it's not N64 anymore, it's going to be on, on GameCube, and we'll get to that actually next week. And then, uh, you know, they said we're going to port RE2 and 3 and Code Veronica, and RE4 will come out. Uh, so it was a huge deal, it was like a really, really huge deal that we were getting the entire um, Resident Evil series on GameCube, and I was so ecstatic. Like, I mean, I was already planning on getting it, but like this kind of like drove me over to like... Dude, you're gonna get a GameCube. Um, so, yeah, I I uh, was I remember, like, pr I pre-ordered it, and and I would have to pre-order things really far from where I live because where I lived they didn't really have, uh, like a GameStop or anything like that. They just had like a Walmart, and I swear to God, like those people never knew anything about gaming or anything like that. I I'm, I believe they still don't. And, uh, so, and there's, like, this weird thing about ship dates and release dates. Like, they would say the game ships on the 15th, which is a Tuesday, but then that would mean the game would actually come out on Wednesday. It was bizarre. It was so confusing. So, like, you would, like, call on Tuesday and be like, hey, did you guys get Resident Evil in? Uh, no, we did not. And I was like, okay. Uh, and I'm like, but isn't today the release date? They said, no, it's the shipping date. That means tomorrow it'll come in and then it's like error okay so um yeah it was uh stupid <laughs> and now thankfully they don't do that anymore but whenever I so I would pre-order games and then they would call you when it came in so I remember I got the call that you know your copy came in I went over uh, my mom was so polite and drove me all the way over there picked up the game uh, also picked up a strategy guide because I was really excited for that and, uh, oh my god, I was just so fucking stoked, man. I was like, oh, it's the remake. Like, they remade Resident Evil. This is what we're gonna have. And, oh man. And so, uh, I came home and I just remember, I think I started with Chris and then I played Jill. And, um, I, I just loved it. I thought it was so well made and, and, like, just I couldn't believe this is what GameCube is, you know, possible with. They could do this. They could do like, because if I recall correctly, GameCube was graphically I think the strongest of the consoles or something like that. I don't know if I'm getting that wrong. Um, but yeah, so this game was killer. It was great. Um, yeah, this is so weird playing it not HD. Um, and uh, it was a great remake. It really was, and I think it's it's probably one of the better. Resident Evil experiences that um, have came out in... Uh, I mean, well, RE2, the remake, was really effing good, and I thought, uh, you know, uh, 7 was really good. But I'm saying, like, if you want to show someone classic Resident Evil, um, like, you know, fixed camera angles, stuff like that, pop this game in, man. Uh, this or, or RE2 or 3, those are all oh, so good. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that's that's my story. I was really excited. Um, brought it back and played it. Uh, sadly, later that year I moved, so I didn't really get a chance to show this off too much to my friends. Um, you know, like we didn't really have any friend moments because this was around the same year. Yeah, I would end up moving away. Man, 2002 was that was a tough year. That year feels like if it was a movie, it would have been released in two parts: part one and part two. 
<laughs> but uh, alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll be back next week with uh, some more Resident Evil games, actually, uh, as uh, Chris's collection continues. Thanks for watching, take care.